Five reasons I don't like any of the LEGO Star Wars display sets. All right, I saw these new sets come out and I wanted to post some of my thoughts, not on these sets in particular, but more generally regarding LEGO's current direction with the 18 plus display Star Wars line. I don't like any of the 18 plus sets and here are five reasons why. Reason number one, the black border and plaque. When I think of a top tier display set personally, something to either place within my collection on shelves or as a standalone display, the type of sets that come to mind for me are sets like Barracuda Bay, Ninjago City, the Saturn V Rocket, none of which have anything remotely resembling a black border frame and plaque, and they wouldn't look better if they had those. The black border adds absolutely nothing to the set's value, value, display or otherwise, and I personally think they even look worse with it. Um, it distracts my eyes. I end up, instead of looking at the actual build, I'm immediately drawn to looking and trying to read the plat, plaque and trace the outline of the frame rather than the actually unique shape of what the set would have been otherwise. It's just really visually distracting, and I think it distract, detracts from the actual build, which is what should be the focus of why you bought it in the first place and why you want to display it. And I'm not just talking about the black frame, but I also don't like the plaque. I think there are cases when having a plaque is justified, like let's say you're buying a UCS Falcon. Yeah, I can see why you'd want a plaque with that. Um, but a lot of these sets are not big enough to need a plaque. It's just like when the plaque is the size of the set, it's just no need, please. Reason number two, all black box is just straight up ugly. And it's really, really lazy when every single set looks the same. It just usually doesn't look good in most cases. That's really all there is to say about the black box. Reason number three, collectability. So the collectability to these sets is just not there. Um, I personally am a huge Lego collector. I totally understand the desire to buy a certain figure set to complete or keep up with a collection, but I really don't under understand how there can be a pull collectability wise for people with these 18 sets, 18 plus sets that they wouldn't have gotten had these been branded as just normal sets. I can understand and see what the helmet sets at least you buy one, you may want all of them or the other ones, kind of like a brickheads sort of situation. But you buy this, the trench set, how does that connect to wanting to buy the Death Star run, which is a mini build set? It, it doesn't really make sense. And it doesn't need to be packaged as closely as possible when there really isn't anything tying them together other than the packaging from a collecting point of view. Reason number four, less play sets. So I can, this one might be a dumb reason and that some of you don't care about and it's sort of fair to think that, but the straight facts is the existence of these 18 plus sets does directly correlate, maybe not one-to-one, -one, but it does directly correlate to less opportunity for Lego play sets. And I think that really sucks. Reason number five, the price. Okay, this is probably what most people care about and understandably so. From a this is what you get perspective with these 18 plus sets, you are not getting a bang for your buck. It is abundantly clear to any person who buys this or at least any Lego fan that you are strictly paying the extra price. You are paying an extra price for the label of it saying an 18 plus display set versus what you would pay if it was just a regular Lego playset. And that's just a big L all around. I think there's plenty of people who aren't happy with playset pricing in the first place, but the 18 plus display line is a whole nother level of pricing issues. Um, so these are my five reasons I don't like Lego Star Wars 18 plus Star Wars sets. Let me know what you guys think in the comments and whether or not you agree with me on my five reasons. And to be clear, I'm not, you know, I'm not super upset that these products are released. They just don't appeal to me in any way as a collector. I still can buy some other sets, so I'm not too mad. There's tons of retired products I'm interested in. So no worries there. There's still enough Lego for me to buy. 
But thank you guys for watching.